Howdy, bit, bit of a howdy, bit, bit of a howdy there, folks. How are you doing today? My name is Reese, and welcome back. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, I hope you didn't just uh, get out of there as fast as you could when you heard that. Um, I, I can understand if you did, though. I can understand if you did. I forgot the, the coal for the, the carbon filter, I assume, is what we need the coal for. Welcome back to Satisfactory. Today... We are going to be doing a little poking around. Basically, we're continuing the Killing Time series, uh, which is where I run around and I kill time until we have enough materials to upgrade our great big elevator. And of course, I've been doing more research in the off time between episodes into the new pack, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. The idea of traveling in a tube is very exciting to me. Uh, the idea of being able to jump off of a one of these bad boys and just go soaring, though, like... I can't deny that that's great and I love it, but the idea of, of tube travel is exciting. I'm, I don't play the the pre-releases. Uh, I like to just wait for the game to be, you know, I, even though I, I hear it's pretty stable and everything's working pretty well, it's still not about that life. We're going to go ahead and test this bad boy right now. So let's get rid of our detonator, perhaps, and let's put on our gas mask. Oh, it goes on our body. Oh, unfortunate, because that means I can no longer fly while wearing the gas mask. That's okay, though. That's okay. We're going to get by. Well, I guess I'll put my detonator back. Uh, I wish we could open up more slots here. Maybe at some point in the future we can. Um, how do you reload the gas mask? Or does it just automatically trigger? Yes? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Well, in that case, I know that there is a, uh, a sluggy boy around here somewhere. Gas mask seems to last last a pretty good amount of time, too. Check this out. Oh, right. I can't fly. I gotta be careful. I just threw myself in here without a care in the world. There you are, sluggy boy. I'm gonna get to you right now, sluggy boy. Yeah, I just threw myself over that ledge like there was nothing in the world that could harm me. I gotta remember that that is no longer the case. Now, is this just a basic slug? It is. It's just... Oh, well, it's yellow. It's yellow. Isn't yellow the, the double? Can't they be split into two and then there's a green slug? Or maybe there is no green slug and I'm just thinking of how the yellow slug has a green aura around it. But I feel like it was a yellow one. Well, cool. This is now officially the first sort of poisoned area we've explored. Let's make sure we're thorough around here. Yes, indeed. Neato. What's that? Oh, it's a whip. I know where a lot of these whips are. If they're ever useful in the game, at least we know where to go back and get them from. All right. What's that horrible sound? Is that the sound of me breathing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is strange. We have I mean, if you look at the, the grand scheme of this uh this let's play, I have had a jetpack in the let's play for longer than I haven't. So, it's weird how not being able to fly is suddenly this this real big difference, a real big shift for me. I accidentally reset this. I occasionally accidentally right-click. It's a problem for me. I don't know why I do it. Uh, I would go back and explore the poison area immediately around our base a little bit more, but I don't feel there's a reason to do that, just based on the fact that I've given it a pretty thorough uh, exploration. Let's go ahead and open up our equipment here. We're going to put our jetpack back on for now, and we're not doing too hot for fuel. I think we've got more fuel in our vehicle, and we're going to take our vehicle with us. It's over there. Because we're going to go explore and try to find some more hard drives and try to get some more alternate recipes to hopefully speed things up here. We are we are having a less than stellar time right now over here because of steel pipes. I wonder if we can very quickly make some adjustments over at the... Ah, uh, okay, this could be a horrible idea. We could be throwing ourselves into something that's going to be like a really long, heavy-duty investment. But I'm going to just pop over here real quick and see if we can very quickly accelerate the production maybe of of certain things like maybe we can make more steel pipes and then we'll pipe them over here into like right here if we just add another is there is there a back over here oh okay all of those are taken um i've got an idea I thought before we were hurting for steel beams. I'm not sure what changed, but that is definitely no longer the case. We we are consuming 16 per minute. Oh, you know what? I took the speed upgrades out of these. That's right. Okay. Let's do this then. We're going to cut this off. 
And we're going to cut this. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to change all of these to produce steel pipes instead. It's a whole shift in the dynamic of what we've been doing around here. But uh, hopefully it consumes the same amount, 45 or 22.5. So it's actually going to consume less steel now. So we could potentially speed it up. To I mean, I, here's the thing. I don't know if anything, if for any reason we need to have... I've yet to figure out what these, ingot these things are for. I, I don't know what we need steel beams for aside from encasing them and making them industrial encased steel beams. Right? But we know we need pipes. We need a lot of them. And we have an alternate recipe now. Uh, using pipes, so let's just make a bunch of pipes. And when these machines over here are done, um, with these, we'll come over and we'll sw switch them back, and then we'll have the excess come out of there and plug into the, the pipage back here. we just got to find a way to link it all together. We're in a position now where it looks like we've got some, some beams. i got to try to get these off the conveyor belts. Uh kind of taking up space in here. It looks like they're kind of interspersed around in certain spots. Did I forget to turn some of these into pipes? What did I do? Did I I set you to pipes, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. What are you doing? Why do you still say... Oh, I see. You're full of... There we go. That's the problem. There was a backlog. Ah, I am sorry about this, machines. I am I am dreadfully, dreadfully sorry. Let me let me correct that mistake. I've got to have somewhere to stick these now. I've got a feeling like this is going to be a much, much bigger hassle than I had initially thought it was going to be because I don't think that I'm getting all of these. You know, it looks to me like some of them are kind of getting lodged up in there, which isn't a problem because as the machine needs them, it'll suck them in there unless... Like, it, I, I bet you there's a pipe right inside of there. I might end up having to break some of these uh, conveyor belts in order to get this to work properly and, like, replace them. Just kind of clearing out the log because I know for sure I saw one. There it is. There it is. See what I mean? There's bound to be some hidden away in these things. Got to coax them out. Coaxing them out of the shadows of doubt. Into the new bright world To be loved and cared for By the one who cares more Than they will ever know oh, oh, what was that? Was that... What the heck? Dogs? What, do, what, are the do, what are dogs doing? I had to get up... Hold on. It was a Ben and a Kylo situation. It's always a Ben and a Kylo situation. My life is a Ben and a Kylo situation nowadays. Like, every second of it is just, what are they doing? What are those crazy rascally boys up to? Uh, madness and chaos, as it happens, is what they're up to at all times, actually. There's got to be a way to get a hold of that thing. It, it highlights every so often here. Let's see. Dang it. Oh, there we go. All right, good. Good, good. So we should, once this runs out, be able to change it to that alternate recipe. It is in here, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Excellent. This is what we want to see. Just cycling through here real quick, making sure we got them all. I think I did. I think I got all that was left of them. And it was about to throw those in there. Any more? Any more little stragglers around these parts? I don't see any more. Looks like we've moved on, moved on fully. Means we want to get ourselves a conveyor belt. Going up to there, and going around to there. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that flow rate. That is that is beautiful. That is that is the flow rate of the heavens right there. And that's going to go all the way back to the back. Go into that merger. Start going out. And now, we're not going to have any more slowdowns, hopefully, at the end of that line. Hopefully, it'll all be good now. Beautiful. Now it's just a matter of waiting on these to burn out their steel beams. I'll be interested in seeing how how things change here when we make the switch over. You know, because right now we're using 16 industrial beams per minute, 20 concrete, and all of that produces four encased industrial beams. I'm going to take a picture of that in case I forget. Got it there on my phone, zooming in on tight. And uh, we're getting close now to the moment where... Why do we have so many ironing. It's, can I, do I have somewhere to stick these? How are you doing? Are you running low? Of course not. Of course you're not running low. 
Is does anyone have space from here? Take my iron ingots, please. I'm assuming that's what these are for. Yeah, this manufactures iron ingots, pumps them into here. Cool. That'll just slowly inject those into the stream, kind of as we go. Uh, good. Are all of these empty? Nah. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close to one to one. Looks like there's a wee bit of backlog. How much are these consuming now? Right. They're. I guess they're consuming less and producing less than we were before. So, because it takes, it's one to one here, as opposed to, what was it, three to one uh, before. So we could probably either get rid of these speed upgrades or add more or just build more constructors. I mean, I'm sure at some point we'll need a steady flow of regular beams and we can automate that someplace else. Uh, or we could just switch. We could just switch and we can have these two machines over here creating the regular beams and uh, have full pipage production over there. I mean, that makes more sense than what we've currently got. All right, I am growing impatient. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out a stack from here and we're gonna go over here to select recipe. We're gonna switch to that alternate recipe and boom, production is up and going right here. Good. So before we were consuming 16 steel beams per minute. Now we're consuming 36 pipes, but remember, um, that's, it's, it's one-to-one, -one. so it's, it, the, the pipes are cheaper, uh, it's 16, 32, what is, what is 16 times 3, uh, 48, so it would have been 48 iron, now we're down to 36. Another way to look at it is before we were using, uh, 48 iron per minute, uh, per one of these machines, now we're only using 36. 20 concrete is the same as before. Uh, and we're producing more in encased in industrial beams. So we are now producing more and using less, which means that we could add a speed upgrade if we wanted to. We don't. We don't need more of these. We're fine. We've got a, a backlog of them at this point. Um, I'm just saying it's a possibility. So we'll we'll swap those out with the alternate recipe. Seeing that go immediately. That that is a beautiful sight right there. I'm not sure what's happening to the concrete when I reset those recipes. I don't know if it's going into the aether or what. But I'm going to move the rest of these down here. And can we actually just have one of these machines deal with the, the remainder here? I suppose, yeah. And we can go ahead and we can set this one up on the alternate recipe. Let's take a look here. Let's, let's mark what we've got over here. And then when I change that recipe, all the concrete's in my inventory now. That's where it went. Get in there. I don't need you. This one's not getting steel pipes. It got one, and then I guess we must have had a bad boy in the system, and I can see it right there too, but I can't get it. Dang it. Uh, the only thing I know to do at this point is to just... I mean, I say it like it's a big hassle, but that, that was pretty straightforward. Um, okay, this isn't good. Are we producing enough? Like, I know I talked about it like this is going to be a big deal, right? Like, oh, this is going to revolutionize everything. We're finally going to have enough pipes going down the line. But are we? Are we really? Certainly seems as though we need more pipes. Um, what are what are our productions looking like right now? So what does one of these bad boys produce? You produce 30 ingots per minute. And these right here consume 22.5. We could step it up. We could step it up. We could get it to 30. It's going to be using more power. You know what? You know what? We're going to justify this. As we always do, this isn't permanent. None of this is permanent. We're, we're going to change it all. As soon as we reach that next milestone, everything changes. Trains everywhere. When the new update comes out, <laughs> all of this is getting rebalanced anyway. So what does it matter? Throw the upgrades in. Consume all the energy. Make all the pipes. It's all going to heck anyway. <laughs> How are we doing now? Oh, this warms the cockles of my heart. Wrong machine. This warms the cockles of my heart. We're full on steel beams. And look, it looks like the backlog is formed. And that means that this over here is probably starting to fill up. And as this fills up, it'll start to back up down the line just like these did. And, and everything will be fine. We can go slow all that down. This is... This is truly stunning. Now we can do what we actually came here for, which is find more hard drives to hopefully, uh, in an ideal world, get some alternate recipes to make manufacturing some of this stuff a little easier. Uh, one thing we do want to do is we want to hop over here to Yamam 
and we want it to Ada, and we want to find out whether or not we have figured out what research we've unlocked. The amulet is completed. Choose a new specimen on the list to begin a new analysis. What did I learn, though? New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 6. Advanced Caterium Electronics. Oh. Okay, four inventory slots on my person. Uh, Power Pole 3 can handle up to 10 lines. Geothermal Generator? What? Can only be built on geyser nodes. Generates electricity for your power grid. Does not require any resources to be input. Programmable Splitter? To three, you can set rules for each output to decide exactly where each part should go. We already have those. That's nothing new. Scanner update geyser. This changes everything. Select milestone. The only hassle here is going to be making the 20 supercomputers. Um, because that requires high-speed connectors. And high-speed connectors require an awful lot of, of, of quick wire that we don't have automated yet for some reason. I came back over to set that last machine as well as to empty out some steel ingots I had in my inventory still. was still dealing with the steel. And uh, happy to report that these are now these are now backed up, which is good. It means that these are starting to fill up. That one just filled up as we looked into it. Uh, and that means more going down the line. I think we can safely here in just a little while take those speed upgrades out of these bad boys and then possibly... Uh, after that, come back and under undervolt these, underclock these, so they consume less power. And man, this is great because it means that that whole coal issue we we're having. I mean, if we're consuming less coal, uh, coal issue is not as big. Although we're still recklessly pursuing uh, the the next tier with these bad boys. Speaking of which, I'm gonna need these. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to need a couple of these. These are not a problem. These are being manufactured like, stupidly fast. Are we overclocking for that? Should we Should we remove some overclocks over here? We're not even overclocking for that. This is just going swimmingly. Well, that's grand. I love to see that. That makes me happy. I just flew over here and realized, what are we doing? We are wanting for nothing. We have plenty of modular frames now. We have plenty of steel pipes. I mean, the argument can be made that we're still only manufacturing 10 modular frames you know, per minute, but we have a backlog built up now, so we might as well go ahead and flush out that backlog by speeding things up a little bit here, get us up to at least three per minute, and heck, you know what, none of this is permanent, so why don't we just go bananas? I mean, yes, it's going to run out of modular frames, that's going to end up being the thing that throttles us again, but until that happens, why not go nuts? Why not go crazy? Why not, will this give us five, I think, per minute? Yeah. Why not? Especially when you consider the fact that we're, we're almost at, at enough. I said right here, right? I think so. This is this is uh, 500. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This one's so far behind. We gotta, we gotta start catching up. How are we doing, by the way, in the computer one? So we were just right here. Going along beautifully. Love to see that. And then this one's fine. It's not hurting for anything. We could go ahead and... It's the circuits. It's still the circuit board. Circuit boards continues to be the thing that... That holds us back. And uh, we could just make more. But at this point, I feel like, you know, we're getting a lot of useful things done while waiting. And I would hate to, to put an end to that. So let's keep getting useful things done. Supercomputers don't take that long to build. Um, AI limiters don't take that long to build. Those stupid inner quick speed interconnect envy link things that we have to build. We have got to automate making that quick wire. I don't know why we didn't a long time ago. At least automate the process of making the ingots. I mean, I know it was a plan at one point, but jeez. Little song of my own making there. Increasingly advanced use of Caterium applied. Geothermal power sources can be found and used as a more stable supply of power. Programmable splitters with unlimited filters can be constructed along with improved power poles. Oh! Oh, it's programmable instead of just smart. How is that different? Should we check? Maybe we should check. Let's see here. Let's 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 look at the breakdown here. 
which part should go to the right and left exactly where each part should go how are those things different i'm just gonna have to build one is what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to build one and i'm gonna have to see exactly how it's different what am i missing to make this happen need to grab me five of these thank you and then oh this is this is filling up has this it still hasn't run out of the backlog i see uh over here dadgummit there we go Good, so we're still producing five per minute. All right, how many more of these do we have, though, until that starts becoming a problem? Nah, eh, not very many. Should we go ahead and slow it down a bit? No, let's just let it go. What, <laughs> what difference does it make, you know, at this point? One supercomputer later, we should now be able to throw down this bad boy, except for the fact that we're missing all of the other necessary ingredients. Okay, all of the ingredients now. Smack take a look inside of this thing Ooh, ooh! so I can say these three objects to the left this one object out the center and then all these objects out the right that is kind of cool I guess in the sort of nebulous sense except for the fact that I'm never gonna use that because the problem with it is I mean I guess if you're dealing with like low level or or maybe you've got a perfect flow of, of ins and outs you know like you've got everything perfectly metered then it's not a problem you know if everything being produced and consumed is one-to-one -one, then then that's great and maybe we will find use for that in the future in fact i i'm almost sure that we will however we uh we don't have use for it right now not with the setup we're currently using so i'm gonna come right over here i'm gonna open this bad boy up where i keep all of my garbage and i'm gonna throw in there uh, that super computer <laughs> Uh, as well as these, this, this actually, these actually I should go put back into the, uh, that network back there. And with that, we have now explored everything we possibly can. We've, we've maxed out the tier list. I'm going to go explore a bit more. I'm going to go keep exploring. I guess we should go ahead and make ourselves some more filters first, but I want to push off into the, the wide unknown and hopefully find some more useful stuff. What is needed for filters? They're not actually that expensive. It looks like we're just missing the fabric. The music is very... explorative? I, I don't even know what the word is. It's got a nice sort of a... we're gonna go on a big adventure right now feel to it. And we're, and we're working on stuff and we're solving mysteries and puzzles. Loving it. Speaking of, I know one place I've always been a bit interested in exploring. Uh, and we're gonna go there right now.